Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by and watching our video today. I'm Steve. And I'm Gary, and uh, today we're going to go over something really cool that you can do with your browser. Um, your web browser is great for browsing the internet, but another thing that it's really good for is just simply opening files to take a quick look. Yeah, you can use your web browser to open up things like pictures, text files, and if you have MS Office installed, you can even look at some uh, MS Office documents in it. So what we're going to do right now is just turn to the computer, give you a quick tutorial, and show you how this works. Let's look. Okay, well let's give this a try. I'm going to go ahead and launch Internet Explorer. And it just goes to the default page here. Now, let's see. First of all, I have some pictures over here. Let's go ahead and try to open one of those up. I have a folder over here with some pictures in it. Let's try to take a look at this waterfall real quick. Ah, what do you know? There, there it went ahead and opened that up. What about this elk? Same thing, works perfect. Those are just standard uh, JPEG photos. I'm just dragging them right over here. Now, as we said, it can be used for more than just photos though. Uh, for example, over here I have a uh, document, a little text document. I'm gonna go ahead and drag that over here. And what do you know? Open that right up. Uh, this can be used to open all sorts of documents. So uh, it's worth giving a shot. If you need to look at something real quick, just pop open your web browser. So there you have it. Um, using your browser is an easy way to get quick views of these files. Uh, we just showed you how to do a picture and a text document, but you can try other things. If you use a MS Word document and drag it into Internet Explorer, it will open. We, we know that for a fact. There are several others. So, you know, honestly, just give it a shot and see what, see what happens. Well, that's it for our tip today. We want to thank you for stopping by. Make sure you check out all the good stuff over at worldstart.com. If you have a question for us, go to worldstart.com slash ask. We'd love to hear from you. And uh, make sure you're on our Computer Tips newsletter so if you do ask a question, you can see the answer in the newsletter. Thanks for watching.